In today's video, we are going to be comparing four different video converters to see which one is best among them. If you enjoy mobile related content like this one, please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on all the pro tips that I'll be dropping in subsequent videos. Let's jump right in. To kick off the comparison, we'll first of all look at VidCompact. So once you launch the app VidCompact, it brings you to this screen. Of course, on this screen, you see the main features and the main features are as follows. Convert to MP4, video to MP3, trim and compress, batch compression, audio conversion, etc. Now, as you can see, the main disadvantage of VidCompact is that it can only convert from other formats to MP4 and it cannot convert from MP4 to other video formats. Let's go through the process of converting a file from .mov to MP4. So you tap on convert to MP4. Once you tap on that, it gives you a list of videos on the system. So you just tap on the file you want to convert and then tap on convert on the top right now it's asking for where the video is going to be saved of course it's going to save to gallery now the conversion process has started after a couple of minutes the conversion will be done and that .mov file would have been successfully converted from .mov to .mp4 so basically that's how the vid compact app works the next app we are going to be looking at in this comparison is video converter by vidsoft lab so let's tap on that to launch the converter to see what the main features are so in this case we've seen the main features are video converter and as against the last app that we were looking at this particular video converter can convert to mp4 to mov to wmv to 3gp flv etc and the main features are video converter video to audio converter you can use this app to cut your video cut audio compress join video show motion reverse rotate and a few other things that you that you can find out yourself to download and try out the app or the main disadvantage that i saw in this app is the limited number of export formats but it does a reasonable job of course so now let's try to convert a video using video converter by vidsoft lab to carry out an actual video conversion you tap on video converter select the video that you want to convert tap on the right arrow on the bottom right it takes you to the screen where you select the output file type unfortunately um, they're not being very explicit with the file types because um, if you select on any of these file types like common android except apple apple gives you mov windows gives you wmv that is windows movie of course but common android blackberry mpeg xbox sony all of them give you dot mp4 file so when you see all these uh, icons doesn't mean that they are different file formats so once you have selected the output video format you click on the arrow pointing to the right at the bottom right of your phone screen and then that takes you to the final screen where you click on the tick right button to start the process of compression the next app we'll be looking at is video compressor and converter so as you can see we've already dived into the list of files let me just select the one that i'll be compressing and then tap on compress once you select the file you intend to compress it brings you to this screen and as we can see the main features are video compression but the main features are video compression the video converter feature feels like an afterthought the good thing here is that it supports a good number of file formats such as mp4 3gp mov flv mkv avi mts as you can see here on this on this list so this having this list of output file format is what qualifies this particular app to be considered a video converter but the primary job that this app was designed for of course was for video compression so in a case where you get this app with the hope to use it for video file conversion you need to know that this app was actually designed to be a video compressor in the first place and not just a converter and the disadvantages here are that the interface does not refer to the video conversion feature rather it leaves you to always remind yourself that you meant to convert the file and not to compress the file as as you can see the interface here the, the button here says compress instead of convert so it is more or less a video file compressor and not so much of a video converter so let's just go through the process of converting file of course we are going to select large because we do not want it to lose quality and then we select .mov as the output file format and then you tap compress it brings you to this page where you have an ad but after this page the process of 
actual conversion starts. So basically that is how this particular video compressor and converter works. Coming to the last one which is also my personal favorite, we have the video converter by Inverse.ai. So let's tap on that to launch the app. Now the main features of this app are video converter, audio converter, audio cutter, audio merger, video cutter, video to audio converter now let's go through the process of converting a video so we can also have a feel of what the user interface looks like so you tap on video converter on the top left you select the video that you want to convert tap done on the bottom right it brings you to this page now this is where you see the list of output file formats and so far among the four apps that we've looked at today this particular video converter by inverse.ai happens to have the highest number of output file formats so just in case you were looking for a video converter that can convert your video file to .3gp, .mov, .mkv, .m4v, .flv, or any of these that are being displayed on the screen right now, then you have your winner here. So let's select .3gp. We want to convert this file to a .3gp file. Apart from having multiple file formats that you can convert your file into, you also have an advanced mode here that offers you a way to choose your video codec, audio codec, and other additional information. So we'll just hit on convert to actually start the conversion. So we hit start now. In this case, the app pops up while the conversion is going on, as against you having to go through the advert screen before you get to your progress bar. So that's a tiny little difference. When it comes to disadvantage, I've not really seen a major disadvantage with this particular app apart from the fact that it has ads and sometimes it can be very annoying in one of the previous videos i had talked about how to block ads in android so dealing with ads shouldn't be a problem now having gone through the comparison of all the four different apps i believe you are able to make an informed decision as to which one serves your purpose the best if this video was useful to you please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video